Hello and welcome to the tutorial on odd and even numbers. In this tutorial, we're going to work through odd and even numbers before and after with numbers up to 1000. So let's have a look at our first example. Let's suppose we've got this number 638. 638. Now the question is, we want to work out, I'm just going to draw two arrows over here, I'm going to draw a box in, in the middle, right, and the question is, we want to work out what is the odd number after 638, and then the odd number after that one, so we've got 638. Now, the best way to do this is to work out whether 638 is odd or even. Don't forget, the odd and the even numbers go straight after another. If one number is odd, the one after it is even. The one after that is odd. It keeps going odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, all the way through. So 638, is that odd or even? Well, again, we don't want to concentrate on the first two. It's only the last digit, 8 the units. Now we know from our previous tutorials that the even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So this is an even number. So 638 is an even number. We are looking for numbers after 638 and we're looking for the odd number. If 638 is even, the next number must be odd. Why? because the numbers go from odd, even, odd, even. So therefore, we just have to take one jump. The next number, and what is the next number? It is 639. So 638, the next number is 639, and that is an odd number. Now the number after that, we have to find the next odd number. And here, because we know that the number after 639 is going to be an even number, we have to take two jumps. We've got odd, even, odd. So after 639 is 640. The number after 640 is 641. 641. And that is our second odd number. Okay. Now, staying with the same number, 638, what the question also states is that, let's write this down, we've got the two boxes, we want to work out the even number before, let's write this down so that we fully understand it, even number before. So what are the two even numbers before the number 638? Well, we know that 638 is even. We work that out. Therefore, we now want to go from 638. Counting backwards, don't forget we're doing back, we have to go back twice. Once, twice to get our answer. We can either count back in twos, or we can just take two jumps back. The number before 638 is 637. Now we can't write that because that number is odd. It ends in 7. The number before 637 is 636. And that is our answer. We also have to calculate the even number before that. Now we have to take again two jumps. Now, either we do two jumps, or we just simply count back by two. It's the same thing. So, counting back in twos, we got 638, 636, so this one will be 634. That is correct. 634. Okay, we forgot to give a tick on the first one. There we go. Right, now we're going to look at another example. Suppose this time we've got the number 867. 867. 
Now, what do you think this number is? It's 867. Do you think it's odd or even? Forget the 8 and the 6, look at the 7. And we know from 7, the odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, and 7. So this is an odd number. The question, and let's just write this down. is what are the even numbers after? Now 867 is odd and we are trying to work out the next even number. If 867 is odd the next number must be even because the numbers go odd, even, odd, even and it keeps going through that sequence. So we can just look at the next number here. I'm just going to just going to change colors. There we go. So the next number has to be even and that is 868. So that is our even number. Now what even number comes after that? Well, if it's 868, we can either count, well we simply count in twos. We got 1 2 so we've got 868, the number after is 869, and after that is 870. So we count it in twos, and we have found the even number after 868. Now that was nice and easy, wasn't it? Let's just finish the, finish the question. On this side, we want to work out the odd number before. The odd number before. Okay. So the number 867 is odd. We know that. We work that out. So the odd number before that means that we have to count backwards in twos. Not in one, but in twos. Because we count back once, that'll be an even number, and the one after it is going to be odd. So we're counting back in twos. So the counting back in twos, 867 becomes 865. We've counted back in twos. The odd number before that is exactly the same. We're going to count back twice. So we've got 867, 865, and this one's going to be 800 and, counting back in twos, 63. 863. So that is how we do odd and even numbers before and after with numbers up to 1000. It looks complicated, but it is very, very simple. Have a review of this tutorial again and then attempt some of the questions.